Hello there. Uh, welcome to costing, uh, cost and management accounting. And five, uh, we are still working uh, on question papers. Uh, today we want to look at the question paper of June uh, 2020. Uh, this was question five on that question paper, and this question is on manufacturing overheat. So we are going to go through this question and answer the questions that follow. Uh, the question reads, the cost accounted of tulip manufacturers estimated the following costs for the year 2019. We are given a table there, uh, and uh, we are given budgeted manufacturing overheads for the year. We are given budgeted units, uh, budgeted direct material cost per unit, budgeted direct labor cost per unit, uh, budgeted labor hours per unit, uh, budgeted machine hours per unit. So that is uh, the information that is that we have in this table. And then I believe that we have got the required part, uh, and uh, it requires us to calculate the following in brackets, show off formula and calculations. So uh, what it means is uh, for every calculation, uh, firstly, you have to present the formula, and then you uh, make the calculations uh, beneath the formula. So uh, let's take take note of that. Right, uh, on the first part of the question, that is 5.2.1, uh, it requires us to calculate the overhead application rate using direct labor hours as basis. And then uh, second part, uh, 5.2.2, uh, requires us to uh, calculate the overhead application rate using direct labor cost as basis. Uh, we are seeing that the basis are changing. Well, firstly, we have direct labor hours. Uh, 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 then the secondly, we have direct labor cost. Then uh, lastly, that is 5.2.3, uh, the overhead application rate using budgeted units as basis. So lastly, we have our budgeted units as basis. Uh, but uh, if you look at these questions, uh, we've got a, a term which is consistently appearing, that is the overhead application rate. So uh, uh, maybe to understand this term, uh, this, this term plays a, a crucial role in assigning the overheads. Uh, and then it can be calculated by taking the ratio of total budgeted overheads and budgeted activity multiplied by the cost driver used to get uh, overhead applied. So uh, you'd see that uh, in the explanation of overhead application rate, we also have the issue of cost driver. So uh, we would need uh, to understand that again, what we mean by a cost driver. A cost driver is any factor which causes a change in the cost of an activity. Uh, uh, it also sets a basis on which a particular cost is to be allo allocated between different departments. So we've got also different examples that we can give in terms of these cost drivers. Uh, we can have uh, hourly costs being our cost driver. We can have cost per unit uh, being our cost driver, or even our batch costs can also come as cost drivers. So according to our questions, uh, question, it means also means that we also have a cost driver that is there. So if you look, uh, on the first part, that is 5.2.1, you'll see that uh, it's reading the overhead application rate using direct labor hours as basis. So it means our cost driver there is direct labor hours. So uh, if you go to 5.2.2, we have got direct labor cost, and then lastly, we have got uh, budgeted uh, uh, units. So that is what we have there. Uh, so uh, we are going to start by uh, uh, answering the first question, that is 5.2.1, uh, on the overhead application rate using uh, direct labor hours as basis. So uh, what we are going to do, uh, we are going to go to the answer section and uh, we are going to present the formula first, that is 5.2.1. So uh, if you come here, uh, we are going to start on 5.2.1. And uh, remember on 5.2.1, uh, we are using the uh, budgeted uh, direct labor hour as our basis. So uh, what we are doing uh, there, the formula that we are using there is budgeted, uh, budgeted manufacturing overheads is our numerator. Budgeted manufacturing overheads, this is going to be our numerator. Then uh, obviously uh, it's going to be over uh, uh, budgeted direct labor. So budgeted direct labor becomes our denominator. Budgeted direct labor. So uh, what we are going to do is we we'll go back to the question and try to find out uh, 
these figures uh, that we have in this formula. So we can start by identifying the budgeted manufacturing overheads that we have uh, in the question. So you see that uh, the figure for budgeted manufacturing overheads we are given it in the beginning of the question there. Budgeted manufacturing overheads for the year and uh, it's the year uh, 3 million four hundred twenty thousand. So this is going to be our numerator. Then our denominator, remember, is budgeted direct labor. And I obviously it has to be in hours. Uh, so uh, so budgeted direct labor, we, we, we are given that uh, the budgeted units at uh, uh, 38,000 here. Uh, we have got here 38,000 units. And then uh, we are then later told that the budget labor hours per unit is uh, six hours, which means every unit uh, requires six hours. So to calculate the total number of hours that uh, uh, that we have there, we are going to say 38,000. Then you multiply by six hours. And then obviously when we calculate the two, we are going to get 228,000. Uh, 228, so uh, that is what we have in terms of the denominator. So these are the figures that we are going to put. We put this one, 3,420,000 is our numerator. And then our denominator is 228,000. So uh, we come here, uh, we come here, uh, then uh, this is our next stage. Then our numerator, we have got uh, 3 million four hundred and twenty uh, thousand and then uh, our denominator uh, obviously we have two hundred twenty eight thousand right uh, so uh, if we calculate that one that is how uh, we say three million four hundred twenty thousand and divided by two hundred twenty eight thousand we are going to get fifteen uh, runs obviously the answer is going to be uh, in the runs and then uh, this fifteen runs uh, is per direct labor, per direct labor hour. So uh, this is what we have for direct labor. So uh, this is our answer for the first part, that's 5.2.1. Then uh, we go on to look at the second part now. Uh, we go to the question to check what we have on the second part. Right, uh, the second part of the question, uh, requires us to calculate the overhead, overhead application rate using direct labor costs as basis. So uh, what it means is that the numerator is not going to change. Uh, what is not, what is only going to change is the denominator. That is the basis. Uh, so uh, uh, here on the first part we used hours. Here is now costs. Uh, that's the difference that we have there. So uh, that's what we are going just going to change there. So. Uh, we, we can go go there to present the formula first. Remember, our question is emphasizing that we need uh, the formula there. Then our calculations obviously will follow. So uh, let's go and present the uh, the formula that we have on the second part. Uh, so the second part now is five point two point two, and uh, the formula is budgeted manufacturing overheads. Uh, budgeted. Uh, budgeted manufacturing overheads. Budgeted manufacturing. Overheads. And obviously we are going to divide it by, um, uh, by, by budgeted direct labor costs. Right, uh, so uh, this is the formula that we have there. So uh, when we when we are, are presenting it, uh, uh, when using the basis of bud budgeted direct labor cost, uh, we are going to uh, leave, uh, leave the answer in the form of a percentage. So uh, we are going to say here times 100 over one. So whatever we are going to get there, we multiply 100 over one, and then the answer that we get uh, we present it in the form of a percentage. So uh, that is what we have there. Uh, and then uh, we check now the figures. And remember, the numerator uh, is not changing. Uh, the numerator is not changing. Uh, that is budgeted manufacturing overheads. Uh, and if, if come here, you see that our budgeted manufacturing overheads uh, remain the same. 
we have got 3,420,000 in. So we're just going to uh, put that one, uh, that is 3,420,000. Uh, so now uh, we have 3,420,000. And then obviously we say over uh, the budgeted direct labor costs, uh, budgeted uh, direct labor costs. Uh, we come back there to check our budgeted uh, direct uh, labor costs uh, from the information that we are given there. So our budgeted direct labor costs, uh, remember we have put 38,000 units, so uh, we are going to multiply by the uh, cost that we have there, so we are given that the budget direct labor cost is 145 uh, rands per unit, so here, so it means to find the uh, total budget direct labor cost, we are now saying this one multiplied by this one. So basically what we are saying, uh, we are saying uh, 38,000, and we multiply uh, by 145. Obviously, this one is in runs. Uh, when you multiply the two there, uh, you are going to get 5,510,000. So that's what we have there. So this is going to be our denominator. So we can just go there and put that figure. Uh, we have 5 million, uh, five hundred and ten thousand. And remember, here we are saying times 100 over 1. So uh, we are going to leave that one as a percentage. Uh, so uh, if you calculate that figure, let's try to calculate that figure. If you calculate uh, the answer that you are going to get is 62.06, 62. So here is now 62.06. Uh, obviously, we are leaving it uh, as, a, as a percentage. So uh, that is what we have uh, in terms of the second part of the question. Then we check. Uh, the last part what we have uh last part of that of the question uh, if you go down that is 5.2.3 we have an over over an application rate using budgeted units as basis so well, what it means also is that the numerator is not going to change uh what is going to change is the denominator again uh, so we go there we present the formula uh we present the formula remember we are now on 5.2.3 Five, five, uh, point two, point three, and then our formula is budgeted manufacturing overheads as a numerator. Our budgeted manufacturing overheads. And then obviously we are going to divide here. Uh, and then our denominator now becomes our budgeted units. Right. Uh, then now we go. The, the numerator obviously is not going to change. Uh, we are always having the same for budgeted manufacturing provides, which is 3,420,000. So what we can only go and check now is the budgeted units uh, according to the question. Uh, so if you come here, uh, you can see that uh, the budgeted units uh, we are given it here is 38,000 units. 38,000 units, so we are just going to put that 38,000. So if you come here, we have got 38,000 units. So uh, let's try to calculate that one. Uh, if you say 3,420,000 divided by 38,000, uh, there, uh, the other that you are going to get there is 90 rand uh, per day, per, uh, sorry, uh, 30 rand per unit, a unit produced. Uh, so, uh, so this marks the end of our question uh, in this video. That is 5.2 on a question paper of June uh, 2020. So uh, this is what we have, guys, uh, in terms of manufacturing overheads. Uh, let's stay tuned for more videos. Those who haven't subscribed, please subscribe and share. Uh, we'll meet again in the next video as we prepare for our final exam. Uh, with that, I'm signing out.